This is where the history of the cult gets genuinely disturbing. The cultists track down the torchbearers living in the tunnels. They lock the poor folks up in a derailed subway car, douse it in gasoline. Yeah. Charming. It turns into a bit of a ghost story after that. They say the dark smoke from the fire still roams the tunnel searching for new victims to devour. There are no happy endings in this city. The story thread felt important. I could use it in one of the scenes I'd found. The scene had changed. The subway car had become a burnt husk. I could get through it now. This one looks good. People should really stop littering, though. Making progress. The image of the witch in the sign. Saga addressed the witch. The smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. I know Nightingale is somewhere around Cauldron Lake. The tree was a threshold. This place and the dark place. <laughs> You're in over your head. Next stop, Caldera Street Station. The threshold, like a doorway, leading to Nightingale. It's somehow connected to a tree, which is ladle. Caldera Street Station sign was there, but the entrance was missing. I had to make it appear. Maybe I could use the lamp to reveal the station entrance.
Stop me. With the gun and flashlight, I could fight back. <laughs> flashlight had done its job. I knew how this worked now. I could take control, no more surprises. What demons he wrestled with in the dark hours of the night. Together with our house band, the divine old gods of Asgard, we have created something very special. The song is called Herald of Darkness, but I like to call this next segment the story of the journey of Alan Wake, the musical. We just do what we always do. We'll chat, but instead of talking, we'll sing it. 